Hi, this is Snow with Corner Covered, and um, we're almost done with spinning videos. Um, this is next to the last. Today we're going to show you how to use a drop spindle. Um, these are pretty easy to make. Just a wooden circle with a dowel and a hook at the top. Um, it's pretty easy to do. Um, if you have someone who can make this for you, it's pretty cheap. It's really easy to make. Um, if not, you don't have anyone who can do this for you, um, drop us a mail for about six bucks. We'll ship you one. Um, so anyway, how this works is we're going to start spinning here on the hook and then we're going to move the spun yarn to the bottom. So the first thing you need is you need a piece of yarn. Now you can use store-bought yarn, you can use your own yarn, whatever. You just need something and tie it in a, a little knot at one end. And you're going to hook it onto your hook at the top like this. This is called a leader string. This is what's going to get your spinning started and give you a little bit of extra room. So, at this point, here we have a whole bunch of Lincoln wool that has been washed and carded. We left it natural because mama needs white. So we're going to pull a little bit of this fiber out. You see how long that is. It doesn't look like much, but when you spin it, it changes and it's not that thin. Put it through the loop like this and bring it up like so. Now some people take and run this on their leg. I, that's fine for plying for me. Um, I like to turn it with my hand because I have better control. So give it a spin and spin clockwise. And you'll see the twist is running up the strand of yarn like this. See? And when you're spinning, when you're pulling this out, kind of make it into a V. It might be a little hard to see it. But see, this spins out, this pulls out into a V. So you get the fibers spread out. A little bit more. Okay. Now when you get here, and you've got as far as you can go, without stretching your arm out of socket, wrap this around your fingers. Like this. And then... Take that off the hook, open this up, and put it on the bottom, right here, right up against that disc. Now what you want to do is you're going to get this around, hold your yarn, because see this is pretty loose, hold it here, and start wrapping this around the bottom, and unwrap it on your hand. Now once you get here, you can just take and spin this with your hand and your spun yarn will wrap onto your pole. Now for time's sake, I'm gonna wrap it like this. But see, then you'll get to a place where you just wrap it up like this. Now leave some of this out because you need to come up, wrap around this pole and grab that hook like that. Now pull a little bit out. Oops, uh-oh, it broke. Don't panic. Just pull this out a little bit more. Pull this out a little. And put your two pieces together like this. Hold it and start spinning. Now see, there's no break. Because the fibers change and blend in with the other ones. Now let me get some more wool. You can hold a little bit in your hand. You can hold a lot in your hand. I have seen where people have a little bag that they hang off their arm and stick it all down in there. That works too. And then see when you're adding another piece right here. Here again, spread this out just a little. Whoops, and that's why it's called a drop spindle. As you get to know your drop spindle, you will start to feel that give. So you just start again. So that piece let go. Now here is where a lock is, and this is fleecy wool. So where this lock is, lock is always much slicker, a little bit finer. Rough this up like this. 
and then put your two pieces together again and start spinning. And the reason it gave out is because I didn't stop my spindle from unwinding. That's the one thing you don't want it to do. You want it to always stay in a clockwise motion. Because if it starts to go backwards the other direction, you're literally unwinding. Now here again, we're going to wrap this around, undo this, and start wrapping here. Now, a lot of people don't like using a drop spindle because they say they can't get a lot on it. I can get about 60 yards of spun wool on a drop spindle. And the reason is this. A lot of people start building a big bulk here and then work their way down. I don't. I start and I'll take this and I'll let this wrap down my stick as far as I can go where I can still hold it. And then... When I start wrapping the next layer, I work myself back up, and then I work back down, and then I work back up. So then, instead of having a big, a big bunch here that tapers down to a narrow, and then I start having where it's fallen off, it's actually the same width all the way around. So I can get roughly 60 to 70 yards of spun wool on a drop spindle that in that method. So basically, you just you keep going until you run out of wool. And when you run out of wool and you have your yarn spun or however much you want it to spin, when you're done, just unwrap it, roll it back up. And when you're done, that's when you put this, if you want to keep it single ply, put it to a knitting matter and make your yardage or put it into a ball and then you can ply on your drop spindle. So. You can do both. You can spin and ply on this and make yarn without a spinning wheel. So there you have it. Um, if you have any questions, please drop us a note. We'll be more than happy to help you or answer your question. Um, again, if you don't have anyone who can make this for you, about $6. And uh, just get with us and we'll ship you a drop spindle. Uh, no shipping. We'll just ship it to you. And uh, hopefully that will help you out and get you started. Okay. Get to spinning. Thanks.